What's up, Jeromes? If you've been a part of the channel for a while, you know that we're a bit of a nerd when it comes to jersey numbers, and it's always cool to see rookie class coming in, what numbers they choose, if it's different from college, if it's the same, blah, blah, blah. And, of course, when they allowed single-digit numbers for more positions, that was like Christmas. It's really opened things up. But the rookie class, who would have the first crack at the single-digit numbers, none of them took them. And we'll dive into why so far it's only Patrick Peterson rocking the note number seven, but the Vikings draft class has got numbers, so let's take a look. First up is Christian friggin' Derrissa, number 23 overall, number one in your heart. Now, he wore 77 in college at Virginia Tech, but of course, 77 is retired. The late great Corey Stringer, rest in power. So taking over 71, Riley Reef, formerly left tackle of the Vikings, 71 stays on the blind side for the Vikes. I think it's a really strong choice, really strong number. Kellamond, 11 at Texas A&M, sticking with 1-1 one, one with the Vikings. Of course, shades of Dante Culpepper back in the day. Wade Wilson, way back in the day. It was Tom, no, Tommy Kramer's number nine. I'm crazy. But Kellamon looks really good. And I, I really do like 11 as a quarterback number. Where there's only a handful of QB numbers that look wonky. But 11 is sleek. I, I think it fits with his frame. And, you know, Kellamon is tall. He's angular. He's mobile, agile, and hostile. So 1-1 one, one is going to look really good. Linebacker, Chas Surratt, who wore number 21 at North Carolina. Come on and raise up. Taking 41 with the Vikings. And I really do like 40 series numbers for linebackers. I might be in the minority there. Well, except for Ben Gideon. Uh, but with Surratt, where you have longer numbers, for lack of a better term. So you, we're talking about ones. We're talking about sevens. We're talking about nines. I, I think it just looks good. I I think it just looks sleek. I think it looks fast. And Surratt, number 41, whether he's out there playing linebacker or whether he's special teams, I think that he's going to be a special teams dynamo right away. It's going to look really good. Right guard, Wyatt Davis, no matter what. War 52 in college at right guard for the Ohio State University. That's currently with Mason Cole, who wore 52 with the Cardinals. But 51 is solid. You have 51-50, getting after it. I like it. Wyatt Davis, plant his ass at guard and for the next decade, and we'll be good to go. Patrick Jones is second, taking up 93. Now, 93 obviously has connotations with the Vikings. You think about John Randall. You think about Kevin Williams. Now, I think it would have been hilarious if Jalen Twyman would have had 93. But, of course, drafted higher, you have priority. And you, you generally want the 90 series numbers, no matter where you can get it. Now, he wore number 91 at Pitt. 91 is currently Weatherly. Now, nah. running back-wise, Kene Wangu coming out of the uh, uh, Iowa State University, wore three could have picked three except i i think that single digit numbers is going to be for rookies is going to be limited to early draft picks like you don't want to be a mid-round guy or late round guy might not even make the team you want to fly under the radar a little bit right so putting a, a single digit number on your back is going to put a target on your back as well so i understand why and wangu Went with the more traditional running back number. And 26, uh, and Wangu, 6'1", 210, long strider, just like Robert Smith from back in the day. I, I, I like it overall. Plus, has speed for days. It's a good pick. Safety-wise, Cameron Bynum, pick 43. He wore 24 at Cal, but, of course, 24 is currently with Mac Alexander. Now, Mac. Since he's coming as a free agent, even though they have assigned him a number, nothing's officially official officially until the start of the season because you do see guys shift around numbers after cuts are made when you get down to 53. So maybe Matt goes with the dose, dropping the deuce on everyone that he wore at Clemson, and Cameron Bynum can take 24 because 43, eh, 43 is whatever as a number. I, I really do not like it. Fourth round pick, edge rusher Janaris Robbins come out of Florida State. I think that he could be a super sleeper. He takes up number 95. Of course, 95 last year was a Fadi's number. He wore 11 at uh, Florida State. So, could him and Patrick Jones duel over 91? Maybe. Or maybe you could see Janaris Robinson uh, put in a petition that he's an outside linebacker so that he could take a, a single digit number. I think that you're going to see a lot of players do that. A lot of defensive ends are magically just going to become outside linebackers so they can partake in the lower numbers. Wide receiver Amir Smith-Marset, the speed demon coming out of Iowa. He wore six in Iowa City. He picked 15 with the Vikings, just trying to represent Greg Jennings or something. But uh, this is what usually happens with numbers where one plus five equals six. You get it? You get it. Now, he certainly could have gone single-digit number, but like we said, I think for the mid- and late-round guys, I think they're going to pass it up. I think that's going to be reserved mainly for first- and second-round dudes. The tight end punter, Zach Davidson, who wore number 30 at Central Missouri, go mules, is taking up number 40, Jimmy Kleinsasser. Don't. 
don't. And it, it's so weird to see a six foot seven move tight end rocking the the four zero where Jimmy Klein Sasser, more of a stout, powerful dude, but. It's just going to look weird. And then you got three-tech Jalen Twyman, who wore number 97 at Pitt. Uh, of course, 97 with the Vikings is Michael Pierce, and he's rocking 76. Now, yeah, this is going to stick. Like, if and when Twyman makes the roster, there will be some numbers freed up uh, in the 90s. And I think that Twyman will take up a 90s number because 76 is just, uh, it's whatever. Where I do like certain 70s numbers for defensive tackles and defensive linemen i think 75 is a really strong one 73 which re floyd is really good but 76 nah, that's a guard number get out of here but maybe twyman takes 90 if jalen holmes is cut or ooh ooh yankee swap so after jalen holmes is cut patrick jones takes 90 and then jalen twyman takes 93 oh my goodness oh my god be good times uh the udfas have not been assigned numbers so far but of course they'll just take whatever's left over but uh, overall, I think this is a, a pretty strong showing. I, I do like Darisaw's move to 71. I do like Y. Davis of 51. Maybe he moves to 52 uh, once Mason. Comes. 